flour mixture for the churros. And all that it includes is salt, flour, and gonna be water coming soon. But there's no sugar within the batter, on contrary to what one might think. Oh, boiling water. No me digas cantidades que lo hago a ojo, eh? Yeah. He doesn't know the quantities, he just does it by the, by the by eye. Okay. Incredible. No set recipe. He's just using his own experience, his touch, his feel. I'm sure texture is a huge part of it. Uh, but he's just really feeling the batter to see what it needs more of and just balancing it out. I'm going to have a go on the the churro mop. Wow. Wow, that's... Oh man, you got to really muscle it. Oh, strong. <laughs> He's got muscles. That is... Oh, there's so much resistance. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh yeah, I'm going to need some practice. Churro <laughs> gym. Oh, I'm going to be sore after this one. <laughs> so the batter does have to rest for a little while. So he has another batch that's ready. Uh, then you knead it, stick it into the, the like, what is that? The tub, cylinder. the tub, the cylinder, and then that's gonna squeeze directly into the hot oil. Uh, so he's about to make a fresh batch of churros right now. It's tan sencillo como esto. Se agarra aquí, se aprieta y se corta. Ah, mira. Se aprieta, se pega, siempre hacia allá, para siempre, siempre hacia allá. Squeeze out that perfect thin churro uh, shape and those flat fry in pure. Did he say sunflower oil? Sunflower oil. Sunflower, sunflower oil. oil. Yeah, olive oil would give it too strong a flavor. Ah, okay. Wow. Fresh. Gracias. Fresh batch takes them out at the precise second so that they're just completely golden brown, crispy, and not burnt. So turbo mode. Wow. Okay, okay, so it's like they rise a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we've got the basket of the fresh heart-shaped churros. We've got literally entire coffee-sized cups full of melted chocolate. <laughs> how should we begin? Just and kind of however you want to do it. I always like to taste like the cleanliness of the churro and or the porra, look at whatever it is, and then start dipping. And as I say, everybody dips in the chocolate, but locals will often just get churros and a cup of coffee and dip it in the coffee. I like that option too. <laughs> okay. Got fresh, hot, heart-shaped churros, and I just look at the quality of these. Look at the thinness of them. Look at how they're just beautifully fried yeah. to perfection. Are you ready? Cheers! Yes. Cheers. <laughs> Churro heaven. Mm. Mm. Oh. Just simple, clean. Yeah. Not sweet at all. No. Just crispy, gooey on the inside. And you taste that saltiness. These are not oily, they're crispy. You know, the worst yeah. thing you want are oily or, or not crispy churros. You want to yeah. hear the crunch. Chocolate dunk next. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh wow. It's good. It's like not too sweet. Mm, exactly. And just that chocolate just has this perfect texture to coat the churros. Mm. Wow. That's what I love about the chocolate here at Alfonso. It's, it's kind of a little darker. It's not too sweet. I don't like this. Sometimes it tastes vanilla-y or too sweet, but this is perfect. Alfonso is a true artisan. Totally. And a master of churros. The best churros I've ever had. Gonna mix it all in so it soaks up the juice. Oh. Many meals within a meal. Mm. Wow. Oh, wow. Home cooking. It's like grandma's cooking. It's so aromatic. Yeah, you in mix and, and in your central bowl. <laughs> oh, wow. You get creative. You create your own cocido now. <laughs> a buffet on the table. Mm. Malacatin? Malacatin. Yeah, family run, Since still in the same family. 1895. Yeah. So the cocido is all these elements that you eat together. So gotta have chickpeas. Gotta have chickpeas. So this is like pork jamon fat, tocino, oh, nice. cabbage. Yeah, aquí tenemos oh, patata, patata, potato. Potatoes. So the blood sausage, okay. uh, the, the pork hoof, 
chorizo. So this is the this is the the beef shin. Multiple meats. Yeah, multiple meats. Okay. Yeah. Is the shank. There's a pan of hens here that goes into the soup as well. <laughs> nice. Goodbye. Drop it in. Hasta luego. <laughs> okay, so they're gonna plate it up for us. We're gonna head back to the table and we're gonna dig right into this iconic and just beloved dish. All Man, right. I love this wow. atmosphere here. Oh. <laughs> I can see if I can get it. Scoot the table. No, I, I'm used to yeah. Okay. I'm used to tapas bars. So this is like you know. Slide on in. Slide on in. What, a, what an atmosphere, what an environment, and I love the decoration in here. It yeah. just has so much, so much just oozing with history and heritage and just feels like an amazing family local restaurant. And totally. What a beautiful. And these, gen we have some gentlemen opposite us have been eating since like 1 p.m. They've been going the long lunch, you know, they're onto their gin tonics. Yeah. So, oh, it's the beauty of it. You can do fast, you can do long. Okay. Either way. So. <laughs> Uh, Gracias. That yeah. immediately has yeah. that meaty aroma. Yeah. Oh, there's noodles inside of it. Yeah. You can just see how thick it is. And again, it like kind of amazing. like the lamb we had. You know, everything's done like using what's currently what's available. It's mm. it's not like a it's not like you're adding all this extra stuff. It's like, yeah. hey, yeah. we cooked all this stuff. It gave this flavorful soup. Let's eat the soup. You know. All right. You ready? Mm. Very rich. Huh? Yeah, so good. Oh wow, that's like the chicken noodle soup. Yeah, well, on the, steroids, the meat, <laughs> the meat noodle soup of your dreams. Mm. And what's great so about this, good. you know, sometimes it can be fatty or, or watery, but these guys nail it. You know, it's clean, it's not fatty. No, it just feels like almost like melted collagen. Yeah, giving it a thickness. Totally, but it's so warm and hearty. I mean, in winter, mm -hmm. you just crave this. Mm -hmm. And you can just immediately tell that this is a tradition that's yeah. rooted in so much tradition and history and so much meaning. Mm. Totally. Mm. What a dish. Wow, that soup is incredible. Yeah. Unbelievable. Ironically, you can taste how rich it is yeah. and yet how clean it is mm -hmm. at the same time. And that's the key to a good coffee, though. Mm. Rich and clean. The chickpeas, the potatoes, and the pork fat. Pork fat. It's super rich. This pork fat. Yeah, it's slabs insane. Of pork fat. Slabs. You got to see it jiggle. It jiggles. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a it big, does. big jiggly. For sure. We've got a. We have like a tomato sauce that you can Those, use as well. People mix them in different ways. We have uh, the cabbage. Cabbage. And we have uh, like spring onion, like the spring onion bowl. You get some chickpeas. They're okay. buttery, uh, yeah. and you put them in here, and you Here's mix soup. them up okay. into the soup. Always okay with a little tomato sauce. Yeah. This is a homemade little tomato sauce Beautiful. thing. It's like a puree. Yeah. Um, and then one thing that people do is then, this is Iberian pork fat. Look at look at how that look at how that you know moves and jiggles and wobbles. And so you can cut some of this up and get some of this in here and just mix it together. You can also use this like butter to spread on the bread. Wow. <laughs> so you kind of mix and mash. Yeah, you mix in your central, and, bowl. And, and your central bowl. And then the meats will come and you can keep the, building. Whenever I've mentioned this dish cocido to, yeah. to locals, yeah. they've been like, they like immediate, everybody has the same reaction. They, they, they grab their stomachs and they're like, oh, that's a huge meal. As in like, once you eat a cocido, there's nothing you can do but take a nap afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I'm beginning to see why. Yeah. It's just like meat parts coming out, yeah. just everything braised and slow cooked, yeah. the chickpeas, the potatoes, the and, fat. You, and over time you eat it. And the beauty is you can mix things how you like. Everyone has Man. their own. There's almost a creative element that you can Man. make it yourself as you go. It's customizable. Exactly. Exactly. I can't wait to try this. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Is it tomato sauce? Uh, mm. 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 That gives it this mm. acidity and. Yeah. Oh, man. Mm. And the chickpeas are just melting your mouth. Mm. Starchy, mm. silky. Yeah. So good. Mm. And then when you need a hit of, like, you know, acidity, you just grab a big mm. pickled pepper. Mm. Mm. It's a great mm. idea. Yeah. I'm going in for a pickled pepper. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. That dish yeah. changes your mouthfeel immediately. Yeah. Like that vinegariness. Yeah. It resets, you know? Yeah. Oh. It just like degreases your mouth. Yeah. More is coming. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. 
Wow. Beef, beef, beef shank, the blood the sausage, sausage. Yeah. chorizo, chorizo. Mano de cerdo. And these are the pig trotters. The pig trotters. ¿Y qué nos queda? Jamón, ¿no? El... <laughs> oh, wow. And jamón. Jamón. Y pollo. The pig ham. And the hen. The hen. <laughs> oh, man. You, now, just... now it's your turn. I, I've given a lot of guidance. It's your turn to get creative. You create your own cocido now. This is choice a paralysis. Buffet. <laughs> a buffet on the table. It's literally all you can eat. Yeah. So many different types of meats. What's, I mean, three what, different types, but then just different cuts and yeah. parts and mixing and matching. Yeah. And there's so much variety. Yeah. This is... What a meal. Yeah. Wow. Where do you want to start? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm having stage fright. <laughs> All of these ingredients, you then just kind of pile it into your soup. But yeah, and every person just like, hey, I feel like, you know, because it just goes over hours. Mm. There's a gentleman behind us who are still eating. They've been here for hours. And so, you know, you just kind of create your own one. You're like, oh, I want a bit of cabbage. I've put it in. I want a bit of this. Wow. You know, the owner here, the fourth generation said, it's about having lots of little meals mm. during the meal rather than just like, boom, <laughs> you know? It's, a, <laughs> it's meals within a meal. <laughs> exactly. Like yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to the next thing. I think that marrow is calling me. Yeah. Oh, it's just sliding out. Bloom. Okay, here we go. Massive chunk of marrow in that soup with the chickpeas. Oh, it's wobbling. It's jiggling. Mm. Oh, pure. Oh. Melt. We'll take some chorizo, put it in here, blood sausage. Pile it all in. Wow. Look at that fall apart, just like, oh, wow. That shin. Yeah. Wow. Wow, it's like globbing all over the place. Oh, wow. And then this like, manitas de cerdo. Wow. All right, let's go there. And you know what? And I think it might be interesting to have a little bit of like, a little bit of sharpness, sharpness, a bit of onion to just be able to cut through it. I agree. And let's see how we go there. Braised, just fall apart tender. You can see all that muscle tissue kind of just melted over the cooking process. Okay. Small ready. mountain of meat ready. Mm. Mm. Wow. Well, home cooking, it's like grandma's cooking, you know? Straight up. Yeah. Definition of grandma yeah. cooking. That beef shank just melts in your mouth. Oh, wow. Our <laughs> canvas is ready to be painted again. <laughs> tomato sauce? I like it with that tomato sauce. Let's cabbage. get some cabbage up in this. Let's get some cabbage. Melting pot? Yeah. Melting bowl? It'll be great to get in there. Maybe the, 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 the mata hambre, the, hum, the hunger oh, killer. Yeah. The, I can chop that up. The hunger could, killer? The hunger killer. The, <laughs> like, <laughs> like meatless meatballs. Dumplings. Yeah, dumplings, exactly. Uh, and balls, you, of balls of joy. joy. <laughs> balls of joy. <laughs> that are gonna, you can already tell those will just absorb the broth. Yeah, they just soak Almost it like up. like bready. Yeah, bread, garlic, and parsley. Bread, garlic, and you're and gonna parsley. And you're going to put that in. It's like gonna, a falafel. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and you're going to mix it all in so it soaks up the oh. juice. Many meals within a meal. That is... Wow. And then you're gonna get in there. We've recreated another meal. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little bit of cabbage and one of those those batter balls. Mm. Mm. Muy rico. Muy, muy rico. Muy bien. Muy bien. Oh, the cabbage is amazing. Braised mm. cabbage. Mm. <laughs> And those uh, balls are tasty as well. I'm not taking bones out of my mouth while you're eating. I, no words. I can't even see what's no on my words. plate anymore. I got like layers of bones. Oh man, yeah. The meats, the meats yeah. all in one bowl. And I love that just that, like I think you said the canvas, that's mm. right. It's like you can design your own kind of experience with what this, a, you know? What a fun dish, yeah. Yeah, it just goes on for hours mm -hmm. and you have more wine and you're talking and you're just saying bit of this, bit of that. You add more soup, which keeps everything warm as well, you know? The, yes. the soup stays warm. The final component? <laughs> yeah. Are two, an, an entire half, a half a chicken, an entire leg of pork. Oh, the hen. Wow, just dropping off the bone. Into the bowl. Oh, oh, oh that's the ham. <laughs> wow. Wow. wow, all that fat. One more scoop of the. Oh, just drench it. Okay, okay. I'm digging into that ham. ham. Next meat. 
The ham. Here we go, the ham. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's so much smoke and saltiness and mm. depth of meatiness in that. Oh my god. Wow. I'm gonna. I, yeah, I need a. I need a cocktail onion to clear my clear my head. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a lot of meat juice in that yeah. bite. Woo! <laughs> Wow. Are you starting to get the meat sweats? I'm meat sweating. I'm meat sweating. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's really good though. This is it's the really definition good. of Madrid meat sweats right here. Yeah. And I mean, you have to plan to be here for a period of time. You know, that's the beauty of it. Don't rush. Don't think it's about like, we'll have a quick lunch. Like, this is your plan for the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you have a siesta and maybe you like go for a walk later on in the evening. But this is your plan. And if you Take ever, it slow. If you ever made the mistake to make a plan 